Right now, they want to welcome to the program the Sheriff of Spartanburg County, South Carolina, Sheriff Chuck Wright. And uh, Sheriff, thank you so much, sir, for coming back on the program. It's my pleasure to be on your show again, sir. Really appreciate it. Uh, saw the story out of Boiling Springs this weekend where uh looked like there was some trouble at uh, the Southside Free Will Baptist Church. Thankfully, uh, you had alert parishioners, you had an alert pastor, and you had an armed citizen on hand. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, when you bring a gun to a fight, you need to have a gun to fight back. Uh, well, absolutely. And uh, it looked like in this case, uh, it was the pastor's grandson uh, who had a firearm. And when he saw this uh, individual, who I guess had been removed from the church earlier in the day, uh, get out of a car with a shotgun, uh, that's when he, he they, they what, they barricaded the door, they called 911, and they kept an eye on the guy? Yeah, they locked the door. The guy took up a really good position with his gun, and when the guy kicked the door in, he challenged him with his pistol and told him, he said, you're about to die. And uh, some guys were able to take the gun away from him, and uh, according to the witnesses, they knocked him to the ground and waited for the police to get there. I was like, <laughs> I like it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Now, I know, uh, Sheriff, that you have talked uh, in the uh, past few months about the, uh, the the need for people to be able to protect themselves down there in uh, Spartanburg County, and it, it certainly sounds like uh, people are heeding your words. Well, I, I'm very glad that this gentleman was prepared, and uh, they hadn't had any trouble with that church ever until Sunday. They were just being uh, conscientious Americans and, 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 you know, following the laws. They... This guy did everything perfect, and, and I called him a hero uh, on the news, and I meant that with every respect because he, you know, no telling how many people he saved from uh, being killed or, or injured really bad. Well, absolutely. Uh, now, I know that the uh, individual who was uh, apprehended is now facing multiple uh, uh, charges here. Uh, do you know, I mean, does this guy have any sort of criminal history, or was this sort of out of the blue? Well, um, he's a frequent flyer. He um, he should have been in jail, and obviously our system being broke as it is, slaps them on the hand, gives them the cardboard cookie, and tells them to go back to doing what they were doing and don't bother us anymore. Uh-huh. Uh, now, when you say this guy should have been in jail, like was he on active probation or active parole right now? Uh, pro- probation. He had um, he'd only committed three burglaries. I mean, I can totally understand why. You know, he's still walking around amongst the good people. Sure. Yeah, burglaries are, uh, that, that's a felony in South Carolina, isn't it? Yes, sir. You know, we got different levels of them, but uh, he, he'd been charged like three times, and he, he, he wiggles away with that old probation thing that seems to be working everywhere in the country. Yeah, uh, well, absolutely. Uh, was this guy, uh, do you know, was he a convicted felon? Was he a prohibited person illegally possessing the gun? He is, and the lady that um, provided him the gun was his sister, and she said, oh, uh, I didn't know what the law was. I said, well, we'll read it to you real good during the indictment in court, honey. <laughs> uh, well, listen, Sheriff, I, I, I got to ask, I mean, with a, with a high-profile case like this, uh, there in uh, your county just a few months after you talked about the need for people to be able to defend yourself, I know we've seen a, a spike in interest already in terms of uh, those who are becoming concealed carry holders. Do you anticipate a story like this is going to lead to another, another spike in interest? I'm, I'm trying to educate people about being taking personal responsibility for their own safety. You know, I'm, I'm a law enforcement officer and have been my whole career for 25 years. And I just cannot be everywhere. And, and I'm not of the favor of having government do everything for us anyway. We are too dependent on our government, uh, whether it be city, county, state, or federal. You know, I think the government should stay out of our lives and we should be able to take care of our own self and you know, when problems arise, all we need to do is survive whatever happens, however you need to. If you have to run, fantastic. Just tell me which way the bad guy went, and we know what to do when we find him. Talking with uh, Sheriff Chuck Ryan from Spartanburg County, South Carolina. And, you know, you talk about the attitude, uh, Sheriff, of being able to protect yourself and, and wanting to uh, protect yourself. Uh, have you seen a change in the uh, the citizens in Spartanburg County, South Carolina? I mean, is there a desire you think from uh, you know a, a growing number of uh, people in your community that they they do want to be able to just stand up for for their own safety and and, and be able to take care of themselves? We, we've had over eight hundred people apply for a concealed weapons permit since I made my comment. Wow! Yeah, well. and, and 
you know, you have to, I weed through every one of mine. In South Carolina, the sheriff has to sign whatever county you live in. I have to sign uh, for people's permission uh, to get those. And, and I'm very... Um, I'm very astute, and that's a big responsibility. So I do a criminal background check on everyone. And you know, if you've been a, if you've been charged with assault and battery, or a domestic issue, or a recent alcohol violation, I just don't give them to you. Now, I have had a guy that uh, he he told he called me and he said, "Look, I was 21 years old when I got the alcohol charge." He said, "I'm 33 now. I learned my lesson." You know, and I think he did. He hadn't had any priors or, or any problems since then, so I went ahead and signed it. So. Just because you had a small violation doesn't mean I'm not going to you know, give it to you. But uh, I try to do my best to make sure that the wrong people are not getting them. Right. I, think, I think the Americans that, just like us, we try to go to work every day, pay our taxes, and stay out of everybody's business. You know, we have a right to own a weapon. And, and I'm going to stand up for that amendment, that Second Amendment, as, as long as I can. And under my watch, I'm not going to fold into the government's thing about registering guns. You know, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, gun control is when you get the barrel back on and get that sight picture right back clear on that second shot. <sighs> Talking with Sheriff Chuck Rye from Spartanburg County, South Carolina. And listen, Sheriff, I appreciate you coming on the program, sir, and uh, I hope that we can talk again very soon. It's always a pleasure. It's my honor to be on your show, sir. Call me anytime. Thank Th you. Thank you so much. Have a great night, Sheriff. You too.